Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to actually be talking a little bit about my tattoos because if you don't know, the Flame Face, who I'll actually link her channel below, she actually done a great video on a tattoo tour, basically to let you know a little bit about ourselves because you see the personality on camera but you don't actually see the rest of us from the, the top neck down basically. So the first tattoo I'm actually going to show you is a little bit from the Bible, it's basically the scripture where God banishes Lucifer from heaven. Basically what that is, is there was a war erupted in heaven and basically Lucifer was trying to overtake God because he wanted to become God and a war obviously erupted and God obviously banished him from heaven. And then right below it is where God was nailed to the cross because God gave his life for us. God gave his only son basically so Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So that just lets me know that every single day we have actually got to be the best person we can because Jesus gave his only son for us so that we can live our lives and spread love every single day. So that's the meaning of the first tattoo. The second tattoo is actually a dove with the chest, heart and stroke Scotland, basically in memory of my dad who actually passed in 2014 and it's actually got his day of his passing, 20th of the 11th, 14. So that's what that is, that's in memory of my dad because I always like to have a tattoo for a resemblance, something that really means something to me and my dad means absolutely world to me so that was what that tattoo was for. The next tattoo is actually a type of David Beckham tattoo. If you've never seen David Beckham's tattoo that he actually has on his back, it's basically a guardian angel cross guardian angel on a, 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 a kind of Celtic type cross so this is what the resemblance is to me it's a guardian angel knowing that every single day we have actually got a guardian angel it's something I do believe in because you think of all the good times and the bad times and how you actually manage to push through them because we always look at the bad times and say oh look at the bad the bad things that happened in life we had obviously god and that our guardian angel isn't there because these things wouldn't happen but we don't look at the good times in life like i say i've been through so much in life and i think to myself there's got to be a guardian angel there my parents are up there looking over for me and i believe that we all have a guardian angel i don't know what your guys beliefs are but that's something i do believe in a lot let me know in the comments below if you would like me to go in deeper on that but that's that's the meaning behind that one the next one is actually a cross in memory of my mum. Actually, this was one of the first tattoos I actually got a way back, roughly 1998 it would have been roughly. The first one I actually got was this tattoo up here, if I can let you tattoo that I actually got. This was, this was, I was 16 years old, a stupid tattoo, because I'm a Rangers supporter I got that one. But the, the, the next one was obviously in memory of my mum who actually passed in 1997. I got that in 1998, just basically in memory of her because my mum meant the absolute world to me and it crushed me so much with her passing. It was basically the catalyst for my eating disorder. So that's that was the meaning for that. The next one is a kind of Celtic type drawing kind of tribal type, between a cross and cross between tribal and obviously Celtic lettering of my wife's name, Laura. <laughs> Basically, I always say I don't recommend you obviously get tattoos of your, your uh, partner or such likes because a lot of us can obviously split up and such likes but I knew Laura was for life for me and she means absolutely the world to me. She's she deserves angel wings for putting up with me, so that was the meaning for that. That was just before we got married. The next one is actually a portrait of Jesus Christ. Just the same as all the rest, like I say, because I'm a Christian, it really means something to me. It basically just means that Jesus is there for me every single day, and it's preaching to a higher power. Like I say, but I respect everybody's beliefs, but that's exactly what I'm about. I'm, I'm a devout Christian, and it's something I have been all my life, and it just helps me through the good times and the bad times, and just try to be a better person. And knowing that my parents are in the next room, and the real life is after this one. The next one is actually was done by a kind of 
it was an apprentice tattooist, like I say, it didn't turn out too great, but it's actually a portrait of my mum, so that was just done right above the cross tattoo that I got, actually got from my mum, saying in memory of my mum, just basically added above her. The next one is actually a portrait of my grandfather, who was actually my mum's dad. He was absolutely my rock, like I say, he was my best friend really. I could tell him things that I couldn't tell anybody and vice versa, he could tell me things that he wouldn't tell anybody. He even told me things that he wouldn't tell my mum because he was scared that he obviously worried her when she was going through her cancer illness and such likes. And like I say, my grandfather passed a month before my mum and that really, that really destroyed me in a lot, a lot of ways and I miss my grandfather so, so much and if I could be half the man he was, I would have done well. The next one is actually right next to that one, it's actually joint onto it. It was actually a portrait picture of my mum and obviously my grandfather, but that was that was done by the apprentice tattooist as well. Like I say, I, I don't really like that a lot, it didn't really turn out too great, but hey ho, you can't obviously change things. The next one is actually a, basically a ta tattoo sleeve I got of Chinese artwork. It's basically a tiger and a koi fish. It's basically in Chinese mythology that they believe that when a koi fish swims upstream it turns into a dragon. So that's what that was. And the next one actually as well is a portrait of my dog Sandy. He was actually, I had him right from I was, I was born. He actually died when he was 22 years old. So really, really amazing that he lived that long. So he was basically like my brother and he meant so, so much to me. I just loved him with everything that he has been. He was absolutely amazing. The next one, like I say, is basically a demon mask. It's something, like I say, it's Chinese mythology. It's, that was all part of the sleeve work. Like I say, I, I love the kind, of, the kind of demon mask type thing. It really, really means something. It's poignant to me and it just, just, I just loved it, so that was basically the reason for that, I say, just basically because I loved it, it was part of Chinese artwork. The next one is actually a Chinese scroll with the Chinese symbol for Capricorn below it. Basically that's, I'm a Capricorn, so that was the meaning behind that, and obviously the Chinese kind of masks as well. I won't go into the reason that of the Chinese scroll because it's very poignant to me, it's, it's a meaning to my mum, so that I don't want to actually talk about that, but that, that's what the scroll is actually about. And the next one actually is on my left arm, it's basically a tribal design with a dragon going up to my neck and it's actually got a bull in the centre. Basically because I'm vegan I feel bulls are very very strong and powerful, they're very very... They're, that everything that we should actually strive to be because, like I say, they can feel, they can think everything that we can, they're sentient beings and that's the reason behind that. The next one is actually on my back, which is actually, it says, as I walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Basically that is, it's just getting me through the good times and the bad times, knowing that every single struggle that we face every day, that we are much stronger than that, because I believe God only gives his strongest battles to his strongest warriors, and that's something that I feel that pushes us through every single day, guys. So I hope you have liked this little tattoo tour. I think I've covered everything apart from obviously like I say the dragon here that was actually the dragon that I was talking about when it swims upstream that it turns into basically with a koi fish it turns into a dragon if you can actually see it properly so I hope you have liked this little tattoo tour guys I would love to see your tattoo tour let me know in the comments below if you have got any I would love to see any videos if any of you guys are on YouTube that have actually got tattoos. I would love to see you do that as well. Speak to you all very, very soon. And remember, as always, binge on life, purge negativity, and starve guilty feelings. Binge on life, purge negativity, and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.